The biggest mistake that I see new Amazon sellers make is not knowing how to use a Chrome extension. They click on the button, they see a big list of products of sellers absolutely crushing it. And so they're like, oh, this seller is doing a lot. So I'm going to sell this product. And that is the absolute worst thing that you can do. And so what I want to do in today's video is break down exactly how to properly use the Helium 10 X-Ray Chrome extension. They've added some new features. They've updated some things. And I want to show you how to actually use it properly so that the next product that you launch is a massive success. So I'm really excited about today's video, but before we dive into it, do me a favor, like the video, subscribe to the channel, drop a comment, and let's get into it. What's up champs, welcome to today's video. My name is Sean Peterson, I'm a full-time seven figure Amazon seller. And I'm really excited about today's video to give you guys a complete step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use the Helium 10 X-Ray Chrome extension. Like I mentioned, a lot of new sellers make massive mistakes when using this Chrome extension. And on top of that, Helium 10 outdid themselves and they made some new cool new features and they updated the entire thing. So I'm gonna show you guys those new features and on top, show you mistakes that you guys need to absolutely avoid. So let's come over here, dive into my screen. And the first thing that I wanna show you is actually what is the Chrome extension? So if we come to Amazon, we search for dinosaur eggs, we come right here, we click on the Chrome extension, and it just gives us a big, huge list of products and a bunch of numbers that may seem overwhelming. And as new sellers, they get really excited and they're like, oh my goodness, this guy is doing $515,000 in one single month. I'm gonna sell this product. And I hate to break it to you, there's a little bit more to product research and using this Chrome extension in order to find the perfect product for you to start selling. So that's a big mistake to avoid is don't just click on this Chrome extension and think, oh, this seller's making a bunch of money. I'm gonna sell the same thing and expect to make the same amount. That is not how it works. And I wanna break down exactly how I go about using this Chrome extension to find the perfect product for you. So obviously, if you guys are serious about selling on Amazon, you need the Chrome extension. There's no way to avoid that. So if you guys want, go down to the link down below. I have a link to Helium 10 where you guys can get 50% off for the first month or 10% off for life. And basically you guys can get this tool and have access to it. And I recommend the Platinum Plan. It comes with a bunch of different tools. Um, I'm not gonna cover all of those tools in today's video, but there's literally 20 plus different tools that you're going to be using throughout your Amazon business. So if you guys are serious, invest in your business, get the Platinum Plan. You guys can get away with doing the Starter Plan, but down the road, you're gonna want to upgrade. So once you have the Chrome extension, let's come back to Amazon and let's show you how to actually use it. So once we come across a product that we think that we want to potentially sell, the first thing that I do is I'm gonna click on the Chrome extension because there's so much information that I need to break down and basically know, okay, is this product in demand? What's the competition like? And those are the two main things that I'm looking for is demand and competition. So the first thing that I'm looking at is the search volume. This is going to tell me the demand of the product. Now, the demand is insane, 51,000 searches and all of these numbers are based on monthly results. So that means 51,000 people are searching for this product per month. That is a lot of searches. And so I know obviously right off the gate that has a lot of demand. My rule of thumb is I'm trying to find keywords that are being searched 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 times. That's good search for me because what I want to do is I wanna find multiple keywords that are being searched, let's say 2,000 times. And if I have 10 keywords being searched uh, 2,000 times, that's 20,000 searches. And if we pull up my calculator real quick, um, this is basically just how I kind of show you guys the demand. So 20,000 searches, divide that by 30 days um, in the month. That means there's six. 666 people per day searching for the specific product that you're looking to sell. So even if you get 10% of that, that's amazing. And so that's kind of what I'm looking at uh, to kind of decide what uh, the demand of the product. And so since I know there's demand, the next thing that I'm gonna look at is the average reviews. And this is gonna tell me the competition of the product. And sadly, the competition is pretty high. 500 reviews being average, that's that's a lot. I'm looking for anything under 200. So if you can find a product um, that has an average reviews of 100, 120, you're, you're onto something. And that's something to dig in a little bit deeper. Now, for the sake of this video, I'm not just going to X out and say this product sucks. I wanna show you guys some other cool things that you're going to want to look at. But those are the first things that I'm looking at. The next thing that I'm starting to look at, which is a new feature inside Helium 10, is the related keywords. Like I was mentioning, I'm not just looking for one keyword, I'm looking for multiple. So if I have 10 keywords with good search, that's 
a huge advantage. So I'm gonna click on this related keywords and this is essentially like a built-in Cerebro. So if you guys haven't seen a video of me breaking down Cerebro, maybe the next video, if you guys are interested, I'll break it down and show you exactly how to use it properly. But this is basically a little built-in Cerebro and it's going to pull up a bunch of related keywords to dinosaur eggs. So as you can see, we got dino uh, dinosaur egg bath bombs. That's not necessarily uh, super targeted and related to that product, but we got dinosaur egg uh, dig kit, which is dinosaur eggs Easter, which is related dinosaur eggs excavation. That's related dinosaur eggs for kids. So as you can see, we got some other really good keywords that are being searched 2,500 times, 4,900, 5,800. We got this one um, that is 5,500. So that is a good sign. And what's cool right here, we got the niche insight and it basically breaks down um, low demand, high competition, low demand, high competition. So that's not a good sign. It shows right here, low demand, high competition, high demand, high competition. So that is another red flag of, hey, this product, yes, it has a lot of search, but there's a lot of competition. And so that's something that we want to avoid. Um, so that's a cool new feature that Helium 10 added. The next thing is right here, this little two, and it has a little red right there. If you hover over it, it says two of the top 10 products have under 75 reviews. And so the more, if it was 10 out of 10 products have under 75 reviews, there is a ton of opportunity. And basically as, as shoppers, people base their, their shopping on reviews. And so if you had two products, literally identical, one had a thousand reviews, the other had a couple reviews, the person is gonna buy the one that has a thousand reviews. That's just how customers work. And so that's basically how, as Amazon sellers, we're gauging the competition and how easy that's going to rank and actually succeed. And so that's a cool new thing that they added. Um, the, the more products, on page one that have less than 75 reviews, the better. So this one, the two of the top 10 have under 75 reviews. So that's not the best. If it was like six out of 10, that's something that I would consider and dig a little bit more. So that's a really cool new feature. The next thing that I wanna look at is the possibility of it being seasonal. And with this particular product, I kind of already know that it's seasonal. I mean, just with this re uh, the related keywords, there was um, dinosaur egg Easter. And so we just had Easter not too long ago. And my guess is people search for this product more during Easter. And I can basically validate that. And maybe I, I'm not really sure um, whether or not it's seasonal, but I'm gonna come right here and I'm gonna click right here next to the search volume. And it's gonna give me the search volume history for dinosaur eggs. So as you can see in the last 30 days, there was a huge increase. My guess is it's probably from Easter. If we come to the last 90 days, again, massive, massive increase. If we come to all time, this is going to paint the picture of exactly what's happening. So if we come right here during April, we had a huge spike. If we come down here um, during Christmas, December, we had a spike because it's a giftable product. It kind of died. And then right here, it jumped right back up during April and then it came back down. And then again, it did the same exact sequence. So I know that this product sells better during Easter and during the holidays. Now, it doesn't mean that the product isn't going to sell um, in like August, as you can see, there's still a lot of search, but it is a little bit more of a seasonal product. And those are things that I'm looking at and just basically dissecting because I need as much information as possible because if I'm gonna put my hard earned cash on the line and buy products to sell on Amazon, I wanna know, okay, is this product gonna sell? And these are things that we're going to look at. If we pulled up like a Halloween decorations, uh, guarantee tea during the month of October, we'd have a massive spike. And then during the rest of the month, there's probably not that much search. So that's another cool thing that you can look at is the search volume history. Another cool thing that Helium 10 added is these pictures. So this makes it a little bit easier to kind of see uh, the product that you're looking at, because um, at least for me, I like seeing like the, the product. And before I had to kind of hover over this to see which one that I was looking at. And now I can be like, oh, okay. I know this product is doing $39,000 a month. So it just makes it a little bit easier. That's just a little update that they made. Another really cool thing that they added is this filter results. So we can come right here, click on filter, and there's a lot of different filters. And there's a lot of different case scenarios of why you would have these different filters. Um, but one thing right here, you can hide sponsored products, which I like to do because I'm looking at and wanting to know the organic products, not the sponsored products. I'm wanting to see the, the sellers who are organically ranked. So you can filter that out. Um, you can uh, search for keyword search, which I'm going to cover 
over, which is huge. This is something that's super important. All right, so now what I wanna do is give you guys an actual case scenario of how to use this title keyword search to your advantage. And we're going to use a different product. So we're gonna come over here to Amazon. We're gonna search Boho wall decor. And what happens on Amazon sometimes is you search for a specific product. So we're our specific keyword is Boho. We're trying to sell Boho wall decor. We're not trying to sell modern wall decor. And what sometimes happens is modern decor gets thrown in the mix and kind of throws off the average review and the data. And with this new feature, if we come over here to the Chrome extension, we click on this and we go to filters. And the first thing that I wanna point out is the average reviews right now is 1100. But if we come right here and we filter results and we put the title keyword search where we only want products with the keyword boho in it, we hit apply filters, you're gonna see that it narrows it down. It can, it's gonna cut out 14 products and the average reviews drops almost in half from 1200 to just under 700 reviews. And so so that's more of an accurate number of how competitive this market actually is. And so that's kind of the case scenario of when you would use uh, that filter. And obviously there's a bunch of other uh, different case scenarios like retail price. If you're looking to sell a product and, and there's other products that are selling for $90 and you're coming in and you're selling it at 50, you can kind of see, okay, well, what's the competition like um, at the $50 range? And so there's a lot of different things that you can do with these filters. And I really like what Helium 10 did. And it just gives you an upper edge uh, to doing product research. Okay, so now let's come back over to the dinosaur eggs and let's wrap up the video and show you some other, other cool little features that the Helium 10 tool has to offer. Um, one that's really cool is obviously you guys need to know your profit margins. If you're not profitable, there's no sense in selling a product. And so what we can do is we can actually kind of gauge our profit margins and we can hit this find suppliers on Alibaba. And literally with a click of a button, we can kind of see um, what products are selling for on Alibaba, how much they are per piece. Um, you can enter in these different filters, different criterias, hit apply. You can pull it up and view more on Alibaba. I actually have a complete video breaking down how to use this specific feature, but that's another really cool feature to kind of get a, a guesstimate of how much uh, the product is going to cost. And then you can come over here, um, which, is kind of part of the, the Chrome extension. You click right here and you hit calculate fees and boom, just like that, you have a profitability calculator and you can gauge exactly what your profit margins are. And as you can see, um, this is just an estimate. Obviously I would need to go in and enter uh, more details right here, but I would say if your profit margins are over 30, 35%, you're on the right track. If you're at like 15% profit margins, that's something that I would be a little bit more hesitant to launch that particular product. So that's very important and that's part Part of the Chrome extension is you get um, these cool little features right here um, that uh, shows a lot of interesting things. It shows the, the category rank, it shows the ASIN, um, and then it obviously shows how many sellers there are and then the calculate fees button. And the last thing that I wanna talk about, which if you guys are interested, I'll do a complete tutorial on how to actually use it. But once I kinda know, okay, this product has potential, I'm gonna dive deep. And what I'm gonna do to dive deep is use what's called the Helium 10 Cerebro tool. So you do have to have the platform platinum plan in order to have a uh, Cerebro. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to click on your top competitors or the product that's most similar to the one you, that you're launching. So let's say um, this particular product is something similar to what we're launching. So I'm going to click on this and then I'm going to click on run keyword search. This is going to pull up what's called Helium 10 Cerebro and it's doing a reverse ASIN lookup and it's finding all of the keywords this particular product is ranked organically for. And this is very powerful. And that's kind of what I was showing you is they have like the little mini related keywords, which is like a built-in Cerebro, but it's not as in-depth and as accurate. And so if we come back over here, we're going to get a list of products. So we have 7,800 keywords. Now that doesn't mean they're they're ranked 7,800 times on uh, the first page. And so what we're going to do is we're going to put this organic rank from like one to 30, let's say, and I'm going to hit apply. And you're going to see that this drops down to 410. So that means there's 410 potential keywords that we can target. And that's a lot of information for us to dive deep into. So it's going to break down the search volume. It's going to give us an IQ score, the search volume trend, um, the C CPR eight day giveaway. If you guys want a complete breakdown of that specific tool, it's very important. It's probably one of the most important tools um, when it comes to validating and verifying a product. Let me know in the comments down below and the next video I can break down this tool. Um, again, I hope that this helped you guys. Um, that is literally everything broken down inside the Helium 10 X-Ray Chrome extension. It's very powerful. I absolutely love the new features that they added and I hope that you guys go get it 
and actually start implementing these different things that I just showed you. So I just want to say thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Again, leave a comment down below if you guys want an in-depth tutorial of Helium 10 Cerebro. I'll break that down in the next video. I just want to say thank you. Like the video, subscribe, drop a comment, and we'll see you in the next video.